welcome back a warm welcome to you in the last video we have seen equations of straight lines and we have seen two point form and also point slope form in this video we will be looking specifically at how to find or frame equations for straight lines which are parallel and perpendicular to a specific line. So let me take a straight line. So what we have to find out? We have been given a straight line. Let us say the straight line is ax plus by plus c equal to 0. And we have been also given a point x1 comma y1 so the problem is find the equation of the straight line parallel to ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and also passing through x1 y1 what's the meaning of that x1 y1 is a point on the line which we are going to create okay right now let's go ahead and try to do this how we can do this if from this equation if I am able to find out the slope since I was told let us say that this is line L line L slope is equal to how much let's find it out if you take this equation by equal to minus ax minus c nothing but y equal to minus a by b y equal to minus a by b x minus c by b so the slope of l is equal to minus a by b are you with me the straight line equation given is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and we have been asked to find the equation of the straight line which is parallel to ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and passing through x1 comma y1 so what we did since we know parallel lines will have the same slope so l slope is minus a by b which tells me that slope of l1 is also equal to minus a by b now this is nothing but we have a point we have a slope this is nothing but now in point slope form how we know the slope slope equal to minus a by b and we know that this particular straight line is passing through the point x1 comma y1 so if I substitute in the point slope form you will get y minus y1 is equal to minus a by b into x minus x1 or if you simplify a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 equal to 0 this is the equation of the straight line this is the equation of the straight line which is parallel to ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and passing through x1 comma y1 I think this is pretty clear what we have done we have been given the equation straight line we were asked to find out the straight line which is parallel to this that means the slope will be the same and also passing through a point x1 comma y1 so what we did we found from this equation the slope of the line that is nothing but here if you see here this is y equal to mx plus c form so this is my slope m equal to minus a by b now i know the point 
I have the slope. I have used point slope form, and so y minus y1 equal to minus a by b into x minus x1. That gives me the equation as a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 equal to zero. If you observe here. If a line is parallel to a x plus b y plus c, it will have same x, same y with the same coefficients. That means a x plus b y will be constant, will be the same in the parallel line also. Only the thing is the constant will be changing because we are talking about a line which is parallel to the line and passing through another point. If the slopes are same, then x and y with the coefficients the coefficients of x and y will be the same only the intercept will be changing so let's move ahead and see the second case Now, now the second case is we have to find out the equation of a straight line perpendicular to a x plus b y plus c equal to zero, and the line is also passing through x one comma y one. now we have already found out that the slope of l is equal to minus a by b so the slope of the line for which we are going to create find the equation suppose let it say it as this is l1 which is given to us and we are finding out l we know that slope of l will be how much it's nothing but equal to minus 1 divided by minus a by b that's nothing but equal to b by a now this is simple again point slope form because i know the slope this is l1 slope this is slope of the line now which we are going to find out so i have the slope slope equal to b by a for the equation and the point is x1 comma y1 so this is simple point slope point and slope form so i'll be directly substituting y minus y1 is equal to b by a into x minus x1 that's nothing but equal to b into x minus x1 minus a into y minus y1 equal to 0 so let me summarize again we have taken the case of equation of a straight line perpendicular to a specific line the specific line we are taking in this scenario as ax plus by plus c equal to 0 now we have to find out the equation of straight line which is perpendicular to ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and also passing through point x1 comma y1. Now we know that if l1 slope equal to minus a by b then the slope of l which is perpendicular to l1 so let us say this is l1 then this is l we know the slope of it is minus of negative in negative reciprocal so we know minus 1 by whatever the slope we have minus a by b that's nothing but equal to b by a now we know the slope of the line and also we know the point so this is nothing but point slope form if you substitute y minus y equal to b by a into x minus x1 
which simplifies to b into x minus x1 minus of a into y minus y1. Now let's now let's try to do some simple examples using applying this particular concept whatever we have learned with respect to finding out the equations of straight lines which are parallel or perpendicular to a specific line in this scenario it's ax plus by plus c equal to zero okay now let's summarize here so that it will be easy for you to refer back if the line is ax plus by plus c equal to zero then the parallel line passing through x1 comma y1 is a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 equal to 0. Similarly, the perpendicular line to ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and passing through x1 comma y1 point is nothing but b into x minus x1 minus of a into y minus y1 equal to 0. If you observe very clearly, this is nothing but we are equating the slope of two lines in this condition and we are actually finding out the slope of the line which is perpendicular to ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and equating it to y minus y1 by x minus x1. That is nothing but slope of the line for which we are finding out the equation. So let us try to do some simple examples. One point I just want to mention is if the line is parallel to a line then the x and y with sign will retain the same. ax plus by plus c the equation of the line parallel to that will be ax plus by plus k equal to 0 whereas the equation of the line which is perpendicular to ax plus by plus c will be bx minus of ay. So see here the coefficients are switched and the sign is also switched. In the first case I have a and b so plus a plus b for x and y for x and y in the second case I have plus b x and minus a y because in the second case we are taking the slope perpendicular to the first line that is why I think you just got this ok now let us try to do some simple examples. Okay. Find the equation of the line which is parallel to 2x plus 3y equal to 7. Let me note it now. Find the equation of the line which is parallel to 2x plus 3y equal to 7 and passing through point minus 1 comma 2. So we know how to do this. Simply we will be substituting because we have already done the work. We have obtained the equation and it is very easy to remember if the equation is ax plus by plus c x will become x minus x1 y will become y minus y1 and the constant term will not be there. If it is a perpendicular case a will become b, b will become a and plus will become minus. So in this case the equation is a into x minus x1 that is 2 into x minus of minus 1 that is plus 1 plus 3 into y minus y1 that is y minus 2 equal to 0. If I simplify this, this becomes 2x plus 3y 2 into 1 2 minus 6 that is nothing but minus 4 equal to 0. So
so this is the equation of the straight line which is passing through minus 1 comma 2 and parallel to 2x plus 3y equal to 7 let's go and cross check by substituting minus 1 comma 2 2 into 1 is minus 2 plus 3 into 2 is 6 6 minus 2 is 4 4 minus 4 is 0 and also observe that the equation the equation straight line equation which is parallel remains the same with respect to x and y 2x plus 3y remains the same only the constant term will be changing depending on the point through which it is passing now let's try to do another simple example for perpendicular line Let's take a simple example. Let us say we have been asked to find out the equation of the straight line which is parallel perpendicular to perpendicular to 3x plus 4y equal to 8 and passing through passing through point 2 comma 5 so we know the equation is here a is 3 b is 4 a is 3 b is 4 x1 is 2 and y1 is 5 let's substitute in the equation directly b into x minus x1 that is 4 into x minus 2 minus of a 3 into y minus y1 that's nothing but equal to y minus 5 equal to 0 if I simplify this this becomes 4x minus 3y minus 8 plus 15 that's nothing but plus 7 equal to 0 again you can observe as I said earlier the equation of the straight line given is 3x plus 4y the line which is perpendicular will have a and b switched over so a of the given straight line will become b of the required line similarly b of the given line will become a of the required line and the sign switches if this is plus this becomes minus I think you are with me so in this session we have seen how to find out the equation of straight lines which are parallel and perpendicular to a specific line so the equations are straightforward we have two equations here where simply given line slope we are finding out and equating it to the slope of the required line in case of parallel in case of perpendicular we are applying the formula that those both slopes product is equal to minus 1 so in the next video we will see how to plot a line in graph and also how to find out the e equation of the line based on the line in the graph see you in the next video thanks for watching Bye for now.